Bonjour, mes amis, and welcome to the Rendezvous des Cajun radio and TV show, live from the historic Liberty Theater in downtown Eunice, Louisiana. I'm Jeremy, a United States National Park Ranger here in Eunice, Louisiana. This program, the only one of its kind, is sponsored by the City of Eunice, the Jean Lafitte National Historical Park and Preserve, the St. Landry Parish Tourist Commission, the Cajun French Music Association, John Guillory Allstate Insurance of Eunice, and the Best Stop Supermarket of Scott, Louisiana. Performing this evening will be the Bernie Allen Band. Your host tonight, Mr. Ray Landry. And now, <laughs> let's all give a warm welcome to the Bernie Allen Band. Hello there, how y'all doing? Hey, mama. Oh, mama. oh, mama, you better get your gun. You got a chicken on the run. That's why. your gun. You got a chicken on the run. If there's a dog in the yard, if there's a dog in the yard, she's chasing them chicken, yeah. you know she's running them hard. Say hey, my mind. Oh, my mind. You better get your gun. your gun. You got a chicken on the run.
very much. Hey, my mom. Bernie Allen Band. Um, of course, that's Bernie Allen on the accordion right there. Uh, on guitar right here, to my left right here, and your, your right up, up there is Danny White. Uh, yes, let's hear it. Back there, an old friend of mine for sure from the we uh, from the same part of town in Lafayette, Mr. Carl Duga on drums back there, and his son uh, on bass, uh, Chase Duga, and uh, back on keyboard back there, Doc Burns on uh, uh, keyboard. Let me tell you, if you like swamp pop music and Cajun music, you're at the right place. I gotta tell you, uh, son, uh, my wife and I went to uh, the swamp pop reunion Monday night in Vieux Platte, Louisiana. And it was raining cats and dogs, and uh, I thought we were going to be the only crazy ones there. And the place was full. They had so much entertainment there, it was unbelievable. I had an opportunity to uh, go to the museum. And if you ever have an opportunity to go to Vieux Platte, uh, I would suggest you take in the museum and find out something about your culture, because definitely, like Cajun music, like Creole music, and like Zotico music, Swamp Pop is a big part of our uh, culture here in, in, in uh, Lafayette, Louisiana, or in, or in Louisiana. And we are so fortunate to have so many uh, excellent musicians playing different, you know, we were responsible for four genres of music. It's almost unheard of. You know, people will say, well, I play this kind of music, I play country music, but they don't have a music that they can call their own. And we can definitely call Swamp Pop our own, huh, Bernie? You got that right. That's right. Buddy. Nobody can do it like us, buddy. So I see here a big old, is that a big old flag? <laughs> it's a, a big, big old frog. You got all ah, he got an R instead of L. I'm sorry, big old frog. And you're saying that's original? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's an original song you made? Yes, sir. Okay, let's hear it. The big old frog. All right, let me, let me change up these uh, instruments. Okay, I'm sorry. Do you want me to go some, somewhere else? Um, how about, uh, we're going to come back to that if you don't mind us. Uh, boogie shoes. Boogie shoes. Yes, sir. Okay. Cool. Yeah, whatever you want. That's cool. Boogie shoes. Girl, to be with you is my favorite thing. I can't wait until I see.
my favorite thing I can't wait until I see you again I want to put on my, 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 my boot shoes And boogie with you I want to put on my, 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 my boogie shoes And boogie with you Thank you very much. Book of Shoes. We have, uh, you know, Bernie is all the way from Kinder, Louisiana. Uh, Danny White right here is all the way from Abbeville, Louisiana. Of course, in... Uh, I've been in Pineville for the last 50 years, but I grew up in Abbeville. Oh, <laughs> okay. Now, I lived in Pineville. I wasn't in Pineville. I see. Yeah, you, you just grew up there. You wasn't in Pineville. I know exactly what you're saying. And of course, um, Carl back there was from the north side of Lafayette, and then he, he moved to the suburbs of Lafayette and Broadbridge, and I don't know, he's probably still in Broadbridge? In Lafayette, north Lafayette. And then Chase, your son, uh, Chase, you, uh, you're living in Lafayette as well, buddy? Yes, sir. Good. Are you still at home? <laughs> no, sort of. Off, off and on, huh, Carl? Off and on. Yeah, well, I, I know exactly what you're saying about that, too. And Doc, where you here from, Doc? Alexander, Louisiana. So, Bernie, uh, did you, you had to start playing the accordion as, as part of Cajun music originally. Yes, sir. Or did you just decide to do Swamp Pop from the get-go? Cajun first. Cajun first. Yes, That's sir. the way it is. Mm -hmm. That's the way it is for sure. Yes, and so sir. you have anybody in your, in your family that influenced uh, the Cajun part of, uh, of you? My grandparents. Your grandparents, yeah. yeah. Yes, so uh, he, he held you on his knee while you were listening to Cajun music when you were really, when you were an infant. Just like me, buddy. My, my grandfather right. was an accordion player and a, and a, a, a barber, and that's, that's what I remember most uh, was that beautiful Cajun music back in the day. And then you, so you got I. yourself a band, and then you started playing Swamp Pop and Cajun and uh, rock, old rock and roll and stuff. Yes, sir, and Zodico yes. as well. Zodico, great. Yes, so are we going to hear all of that tonight? Are we yes, going to have an opportunity sure. to hear most of that stuff? Yes. I saw you got a triple row there. Are you going to play that as, uh, in a little bit? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good, sure, great. Will. So, and... Uh, do, do you want to stay with the G? you want to stay with the D? What do you want to do? Let's go with the D. We've got a couple of more on here. Then, uh, okay, so what are we going to do? Hello, Josephine. Hello, Josephine. Hello, Josephine. How do you do? Do you remember me, baby? Like I remember you. You used to laugh at me. I used to walk you home across the railroad track. You used to carry your umbrella when I took you on my back. You used to laugh at me.
like that me. So Chase, that's not the first time you play bass with your dad, huh? I, I, I didn't know who was pushing who right there. I like that uh, double thumping on that bass with that drum. It's not, it, it's not your first rodeo, buddy. You know, Carl, back there, uh, our lives uh, sort of, uh, our past sort of grew together. When we were kids, we, were, we stayed on the baseball field way back in the day. Then he uh, went to be a school teacher, and I went to work for the fire department. But we stayed on the baseball field, and ironically, he started playing music, and I started playing music, and then he was, it was a, a retired principal from Broadbridge High School. Is that right? Dusan Elementary. So where did I get? Where do I get Broadbridge from? No, no, have no. That was from me. I apologize. That's okay. That's okay. So Dusan, a, a principal uh, in Dusan, Louisiana, playing music. Uh, I'm sure your students like that too when they found that. Uh, you were, uh, you know, uh, one, one of those Huval boys, that's what it is, Huval boys from Broadbridge. Zach is an uh, agriculture teacher at Northside, and he plays a super accordion. And he said the only problem he has with that is that every time he goes to school, the kids want to hear him play the accordion. So that's not a bad deal. So we're going to stay on the D accordion, and uh, we're going to do, did we change yet? Matilda. Wow. That's a good old Swamp Pop song, huh? Matilda. Love for me will always be There's no tenant left near me But till I cried and cried for you And yeah, there's no matter what you do you 
room There's no matter what you do My love for you is gonna sing I want my baby back again Well, that song is responsible for a lot of things in a lot of people's lives, I'm telling you. Yep, uh, way did. back in the day, I remember when the Cookie and the Cupcakes played at uh, one of those clubs. I think it might have been the Bayou Club. Every Sunday night. And man, I was over there. That was something amazing. We, we didn't know what we had back in that day. Uh, Bernie, you and Danny been been uh, been our friends for a while. Been playing together music for a while, y'all too? Yes, sir. Did you say about, about 10 years, you said, somewhere around there? 10, 11? Who's counting? Uh, how did, uh, being from Kinder and uh, actually at the time you were in Abbeville at the time y'all got together or you were in Alexandria at the time y'all started playing together? People want to hear you on the radio. <laughs> He's used to that. In Alexandria and I'm talking about playing music and uh, <laughs> Ber <laughs> Bernie needed a guitar picker and there you I, were. I showed up. There you go. And stayed 10 years. Yeah, well that's good. So I uh, see you, uh, did we change over to a uh, C accordion? Uh, D? Yeah, B flat. B flat, okay, cool. So we're gonna do a uh, knocking on heaven's door? Is that, no? Oh. No, that's another one. <laughs> that's another one, okay, well, which one are we gonna do? <coughs> I'm sorry? You, what do you want us to do, that original Big Old Frog? Oh, Big Old Frog original, yeah, let's do that one. That's an original by uh, Bernie Allen right there. When I was driving you home, I looked out my window, I saw a frog. So I grabbed my gig, yes, I grabbed my light. I moved up close, I held real tight to that big old frog, the big old bullfrog. Hey, I'm gonna catch me a big old frog. Go ahead, Danny.
go from yeah. Thank you, thank you. I like that, man. I've, I've uh, actually heard that song many times on the radio. A good song. I didn't, didn't put the face together with the song. So, yeah, with the frog. So, are we going to stay in F or are we going to stay in B flat? That's what we're going to do. We can, yeah, so, we're going to do few, few, yes. the monkey and the baboon. Is that the one we're going to do next? Sure. Cool. I feel like he's cutting out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I heard that a while ago. It's hard for me to keep still up here, I guess. The monkey and the baboon playing in the grass. The monkey told the baboon, you're playing too fast. Oh, not no, this cannot be. The monkey said to the baboon, you lied to me, you lied. You lied to me, where you lie? Bothering me. Oh, I know it cannot be. The monkey said the baboon, you lied to me. Yeah, he lied. So you have a band schedule for the upcoming uh, events that you might be playing with uh, soon? Well, not. Um, we're going to be at the like, Cachada Casino Resort in sure. Kinder. We'll be there uh, in a few more weeks. And um, right now we're just starting to do some practicing and trying and get, to fill out more getting of the it things. All, getting it all together, huh? Yes, sir. Yes. So how, um, you play what nights in, at uh, Cachada? Yes, sir. What, um, what nights do you play there? Uh, Thursday nights. Thursday um, nights? Like once a month, basically, you know. Okay, and, cool. Um, other than that, with Mardi Gras around, we've been pretty busy, you know. Good. So. Every, everybody's busy for Mardi Gras. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to see it come, Sha, but I'm glad to see it go away. <laughs> oh, my Jesus. C'était l'heure pour ça finir, ça. I like that, me. That is a good song, eh? Yeah. Look, you women are going to have to control yourselves over there. No? <laughs> Tina na. This can go out to Miss K. Duga over there. <laughs> it's one of her favorites. Tina na. Married woman, and I'm afraid to call her name. Said when I call her name, you know, always. 
get my damn self in trouble Danny White, yeah. so much <clears throat> Sherry, I tell you if, uh, if a song like that don't bring him out on the dance floor nothing will t- nothing will you might as well just give up uh-huh. uh, excellent excellent beat I, I always did like that beat to, to a song that will bring him out on the dance floor for sure uh, Danny get right there by that microphone tell everybody what radio station uh, you have a program on. Give a, give well, a plug. I hope somebody listens to it on Sunday morning. <laughs> Solid I, I do, Sunday Danny. On KWRV. We do Merle Haggard and George Jones and Conway Twitty and, and all those folks. And, and if you don't tune in, you need to. 
So, and what, and what time is that on uh, Sunday morning? 6 a.m. to 12 noon. 6 to 12, wow. So you play old, old country like uh, Conway, All West started, Hank, Hank Senior and all those guys too, yeah, really. That's the FM station, what's the numbers? 100.3. 100. 100. Uh, so, and that's in Alexandria? Yes. It's in Alexandria, okay. Bernie, you, uh, are you taking a break, Bernie, back there? Oh, he's going to sing. Are you getting ready to sing one, Danny? I'm going to sing. Are you going to sing one? Okay, what are we doing? Baby, baby, can't you see? Is that the one you're going to do, Danny? No, I'm going to do uh, Shelly's Winter Love. Shelly's Winter Love. Let's hear it. Uh, a friend of mine I've worked with for a long time, Clint West, recorded that. Of course, Merle Haggard wrote it. and Well, I'm not play working with Clint anymore, so I sing it every once in a while. I love Clint West's uh, music. Here we go. I know I'm only Shelly's winter love She only seems to need me now and then I know I'm only Shelly's winter love But she's my But she'll be leaving When those friends of hers Start calling her from town So I live and wait for Shelly
with Clint West. He had the, uh, Clint West had the, a vocal range almost unprecedented in, uh, in music. He could, what have, whatever happened to him? He had disparu. Is he, is he still around? He's, he's around. <laughs> he's around. He's just not, not performing anymore, do you know? not performing much anymore. Is that right? I tell you what, uh, you know, Shelley's Went of Love, Big Blue Diamonds, Bayou Pompon. Yeah. That's a whole Clint West. I'm telling you, that's some good music. Back in the day, that Swamp Pop. Long right. live Swamp Pop. Yeah, Uncle. you're right. Yeah, it's still a, living. <laughs> yeah, cool for sure. Uh, so, uh, Bernie, what are we doing? Yes, there's another song I wrote um, years ago. It's called Baby Can't You See. It's a little swamp pop tune. Baby Can't You See. Yes, sir. Sure. Baby, baby, can't you see? All I want is you and me. I don't know who's right or wrong. All I know is where you belong. Danny White on the guitar. You come and sit right next to me. Sometimes we can't see eye to eye But even though my darling would try So baby, baby, can't you see So come and sit right next to me I'm as lonesome as can be Sometimes we can't see eye to eye But even though my darling would try So baby, baby, can't you see Come and sit right next to me I'm as lonesome as can be Sometimes we can't see eye to eye But even though my darling would try So baby, baby, can't you see Yeah. 
All right. Thank you. Thank you. Baby, baby, can't you see? You know, I've uh, I've known a whole bunch of songwriters in my in my life, uh, Cajun songwriters. Adam Mayberry was a friend of mine. I did an interview with him, and he said he got all his ideas of his song while he was on the road. Uh, you know, and I think he was, if, if I, him and Joey Balfour as well was a route salesman. Uh, they did, they stayed in the car all day, so they came up with these ideas and they would write the tunes down. And uh, when I asked Joey, he said, Judy, Joey would always get the melody first. And so uh, in, in writing your songs, do you come up with the idea for the song and then add the melody to it? Or do you just. Exactly. So you just get the words to it? Yes, sir. Is that, is it. <laughs> Kind of stuff I'm gonna put you on the spot right here. Is it, so the uh, baby, baby, can't you see? Is that the personal life experiences? Uh? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know the guy that wrote the next song, "No Good Woman." I know that was a life experience for yep. sure. For all of us, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Only the lucky ones didn't know. <laughs> so, so that the one you're gonna do next, "No Good Woman." Sure can. Okay. Man. We had that young man right here. After this that this goes out to all the good men out there. And, and the women, the good women too as well. I love you, baby. I was just joking. <laughs> All right, no good woman, boys. Every day I gotta work like a slave Cause my baby She don't try to say That no good woman Can ruin a man's life Oh, ruin a man's life Every night When I come home She's always out Always doing me wrong That no good woman can ruin a man life, oh, ruin a man life. Come home, she's always out, always doing me wrong. That no good woman can ruin a man's life. Oh, can ruin a man's life. Every weekend, she calls me honey, just to get her hands on my money. That no good woman. Sure ruin a man's life Oh, ruin a man's life <laughs> That's good, thank you thank I wasn't ready, you surprised me too yeah, me So too. that was the uh, version That was Rock and Sydney version Is that what it was? Who made that song? Corey, you remember? There were several people who did Yeah, that. I think it was I, I think it was Rock and Sydney Anyway, I had, the, I had the biggest treat Last year I was uh you know, I do construction work, and then so we were looking on a Friday. I take my, my hands out and we go eat. And so I went to uh, Piccadilly on uh, Johnson Street in Lafayette. And I was just, uh, it's been a while since I've eaten at Piccadilly, and I went there. And I, Len August is over there, and he does a noon, a brunch noon thing, plays keyboards and has piano, electric piano, organ. Most amazing guy. But, it, you know, uh, we were supposed to go to work after about an hour. I think I stayed there four. Of course, the margaritas had a lot to do with that, uh, yeah. I'm thinking back in the day. But uh, Len August, another great uh, musician, swamp pop musician, Cajun Zotico as well. 
So we got no good woman out of the way. Uh, what are you doing? I'm coming home. Is that the one you want to do? Sure. Good. I'm coming home. You know I, I'm coming home Cause I feel so all alone I'm coming home to see my dear mother Cause that's where I belong See all my friends You know they always put me down So I'm coming home To see my dear mother Cause that's where I belong Where oh, yeah, is Danny White? Thank you so much. Yes, sir. The Bernie Allen Band and Bernie Allen on the accordion and vocals. Danny White right here on guitar. Chase Dugas all the way on the other side of the bandstand. And Doc Burns in the back of me. And, of course, Carl Dugas on drums in the back. I know that uh, if, you want to, uh, if you want to get in touch with uh, Bernie, you, I know he does have a Facebook. And you can friend request him for sure. you have any additional ways that uh, somebody can uh, hook up with you there, Bernie? If they want to, uh, is he listening? If he wants to s schedule a gig, uh, so you go to Facebook. Do you have a website as well? Yes, no, sir. not yet. Yes, uh, um, you can go to my website at bernieallen28 at uh, yahoo.com, <laughs> and um, that's bernieallen28yahoo.com. 
And then you can also go to my uh, my fan page on the uh, Facebook. On, on Facebook, yes. yes so that uh, this morning, in fact. Uh, so uh, if you want to get in touch with them to book them, that's for sure. That's the way to do it. Uh, the, oh, we're, doing, we're doing a triple row now. So do, are we uh, are we going to do Uncle Bud? No, we switched. Not right now. Not right now. Yep. Um, Mr. Carl's going to respond. Okay. I'm, that's <laughs> Look, I've been in front of a microphone almost all my life. I know what it is. Musicians have the biggest bladder in the world. Especially if you play for Gino Delafosse. If you play for him, you have to have four bladders uh, to be able to play, but he never takes a break. Uh, right in the back of me, uh, Doc Burns uh, asked him a while ago when I was talking to him originally at the beginning. I asked him, I said, how'd you get that, na that, na na that nickname, Doc? And he said, well, I earned that name. He uh, has a doctorate degree in music, uh, is a music instructor in, uh, in, in Alexandria. And he doesn't have a, uh, I hate to talk to someone with a microphone and they don't have one. Uh, <laughs> so he's, uh, he's retired. He's a retired uh, music instructor, uh, but stays busy teaching and play and teaches uh, keyboard. Anything else, Doc? Teaches guitar and percussion. Stays busy. I asked him if he knew Henry Hampel, who teaches everything except how to be a good boy. Uh, they stay really busy, especially you know Cajun musicians that teach, like Brazos. Uh, Brazos Hiva. Uh, spends most of his free time teaching, so not wrong with that for sure. So, uh, Bernie, are we doing a knocking on heaven's door? What are we doing? Let's uh, bring it up a little bit. We'll do a little bit of Mustang Sally. Mustang Sally, cool. Mustang and Sally. And C. And C. He's talking to you, Carl. Yeah. And C. <laughs> I think you better slow your Mustang down Mustang Sally I think you better slow that Mustang down I think you better put your flat feet on the ground Yeah, and I bought you a brand new Mustang A 1965 Never since I got the big thing All you want to do is to ride a Mustang
Y'all give me a hand on this one. Said all you wanna do is ride around Sally. Mustang Sally. <clears throat> so we're going to stay on the triple row. We might as well just uh, keep it up, bud. Uh, what do you want to do now? I have uh, knocking on heaven's door is when I've got um, uh, Uncle Bud. What you do? We can do Irene. You like Irene? Oh, uh, we like song. Irene. <laughs> In the middle of a dream. Somebody call my name Was so afraid I woke up crying I filled the room with a worried mind And when I opened up my eyes I saw that to my surprise The prettiest girl It was that girl they call Irene. Irene, Irene, the sweetest girl of my dream. Hey, no, Irene, I said Irene, the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Girl, I've ever seen. 
It was that girl they call Irene. Irene, Irene, the sweetest girl of my dreams. You know Irene, I said Irene, the prettiest girl I've ever seen. I'd like to give a shout out to my mother-in-law and my father-in-law listening, uh, Bozo and Anna Joyce Jones. They are not only listening, they're going to be watching Sunday for sure. I'd like to tell them hi. So just uh, you just woke up one day and you said that I'm going to be an entertainer. I'm going to play Zodico music, I'm going to play Cajun music, I'm going to play Swamp Pop music. Is that what happened or did you, who was, who was your greatest uh, influence in what you decided to do? You saw someone perform, like it was in my case, I saw Dewey Balfour and them, and I loved them so much that I tried to copy him. Mm -hmm. uh, did, did you do to have a similar experience? Did you just want to? Yes, I did. Uh, Joel Sonier, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. Wow. Congrats and, to him, by the way, for yes, winning the Grammy. Oh, isn't that great? And then, um, you know, Steve Riley, of course. Um, all the great accordion players anywhere around this area, they've had a big influence on me. I, I appreciate it because I've learned a lot from them just by watching them and sure, yeah, and uh, just paying attention to them. And uh, this is what I wanted to do. It took me 30 years to find that out, but uh, <laughs> maybe a little yeah. late. But uh, we was uh, my wife and I were in, in Jennings for Mardi Gras Saturday, where they had the big shootout accordion contest, and Steve took the professional division. There was, there was uh, more competition uh, that one day than I've seen forever. There were probably uh, about 24 accordion players in different categories, uh, but they filled that strand theater to the, to the brim. So back, uh, back in the day, so uh, did you just start playing the accordion? Most of them just start playing the accordion, and then all of a sudden they, they realize that they try to mimic whoever they want to be just like, and they, they start singing like him. Uh, when did you discover that you, you could do vocals, or you wanted to do vocals? Uh, you knew that from the, from the get-go as well? No, sir. No, sir. I was too shy to sing. <laughs> um, I don't know if everybody, uh, some of you remember, um, I had a, the first band I was with was with Bayo. It's a, it was a traditional Cajun band out of Oberlin. That's where I'm from. And um, Blackie Ryder was with me. He was uh, uh, the lead singer of the band because he didn't care to sing, and uh, he also did French, and he had a great voice. And he's the one who inspired me to start singing, you know, because one night we were going to, this is a story, we were going to play in Lake Charles, our Moss Bluff, at a club called the Triangle Club. And um, we ha I haven't talked to the guys all day. I just said, look, y'all meet me over there. And, you know, Blackie, everybody's ready for him to sing, you know, not me. And uh, so he comes to the show, and he loses his voice. And uh, so I had to sing that night. Yeah, well, good for you. On a wing I, and a prayer, but, <laughs> but I did it. I made it. And, uh, been start and you've been singing it. ever since. Ever since, yes, yeah, sir. Great. Yes, sir. That's a great story. Yes. So uh, who do you, you, want, you wanted to play like, uh, like Steve Riley, of course. Who doesn't want to right. play like Steve Riley or, yeah. or Wayne Toops or anybody yeah. like that? So, also, yeah, I just like wanted to move to yeah, and all, them, all, them, all them, them guys. You're right. And I just wanted to throw the accordion in it because as, uh, if you're a Cajun, you're going to love the accordion anyways, you know, it's just yes, uh, yes. an instrument that everybody loves, plus it's good to have with the family gatherings and backyard barbecues, you know. That's and right. You always get invited. Yes, that's right. You always get invited. You're the first one to get invited. Oh, you play the accordion? By the way, I have a yeah. barbecue Sunday. Mm -hmm. Think you can come? Say, well, yep. well, I can't bring my accordion. Well, I don't think you need to come then. Exactly. If you can't bring your accordion. <laughs> so yeah. what, what are we doing now? All right. Well, let's do uh, the twist. The twist. Mm -hmm. Great. I like See? that me. See. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Say, come on, baby. Let's do the twist. She take me by my hand. She go like this. She go like this 
she go like this Mr. Danny White on the guitar That stayed on the, I think that song stayed at the top of the charts for almost a year. Uh, great song. I remember going to the dance back in the day and trying to do that and throwing everything out of whack. So, uh, oh, we are we still on the on the triple row? Yes, so, sir. we are we going to stay there? Cool. Uh, well, we've got uh, one more to do on the triple row. Okay. And and what? Which one is that? It's called knocking on heaven's door. G. Knocking on heaven's door.
anymore, no. It's getting dark, too dark to see. I feel like knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Mama putting his gun in the ground I can't use it anymore This long black cloud is coming down I feel like knocking on heaven door Knocking on heaven door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven door. Knocking on heaven's door. Great job, Bernie. Uh, while he's changing accordions, uh, you're listening to the music of uh, Bernie Allen uh, tonight. Uh, some great music. We've heard some uh, music. We've heard some swamp pop, some old rock and roll, some Cajun. We've uh, been really treated uh, tonight to all kind of music. So uh, actually, Bernie, we have uh, probably time for Maybe two, two or three others. So you want to do a, a Cajun song? You want to do That's one? That's what I was going to do, brother. Okay. I'll read your mind. So when we're going to do, uh, have any one in particular? See, it's not official until he puts his hat on. That's right. Uh, I, know, I know the feeling. People don't, when I, when I don't wear my cap, people ask me, what's the matter? Am I sick? <laughs> Go put your cap on, T. You don't look the same. That's right. <laughs> So what are we going to do, buddy? How about uh, the Bayou Tesh Wars? Oh, really? Okay. La Base of Bayou Tesh.
Like we were talking a while ago about uh, Joel Sonia, he's been uh, he's been re since he won the Grammy, he's been really busy. You know, he had he had a cruise uh, scheduled, whether he won or not. Uh, that's that's the kind of man I like. Positive attitude. Uh, right after he won the Grammy, he went on a cruise. He's back home now. Uh, we had an opportunity to have him at the jam session at Vermillionville. An exceptional musician. Uh, I remember there was a, I'm not going to say the name of the lounge, but when he first started out in rain, he played at a lounge on Saturday nights. That was the most amazing uh, music back in the day because he could do old country like he could do old Cajun. And he'd yeah. sit down in the back of that microphone and do some old uh, George Jones, uh, you know, back in the day, he wasn't that old, but uh, he did, a, he did a, a song, I would request it every time I would get drunk, that was every time I was there. But it was a lighter shade of, uh, lighter shade of pale. pale or something. He did an excellent job on that. Uh, so we're gonna. Uh, what are we gonna do? We had. I think. I think we played every one on your list except Uncle Bud. And I don't know if you want to play that or you wanted to select something else. Whatever you want to do. Let's just go ahead. Um, just Johnny, be good. Johnny, be good. More Johnny, be good. be good. He never ever learned to read and write so well, but he can play a guitar just like a ring in a bell. Go, go. Go, Johnny, go. Go. Go, Johnny, go. Go. Go, Johnny, go. Go. Go, Johnny, go. Go. It's Johnny be good. He used to carry his guitar in a honey sack. He never caught Boy, till the sun go down. He never ever learned it, read it right so well. He can play a guitar just like a ring in a bell. Go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go. Can Johnny be good? Danny White. Keys. 